Hey guys, it's Darwin here with a full gear review of the Six Moons Design Silver Shadow Solar Umbrella. So I picked this guy up a handful of months ago uh, for a few reasons. Number one, I wanted it whenever I'm doing any type of desert hiking so I can create some shade for myself when I'm completely out and there's no trees at all. And number two, the main reason I picked it up was for my through hike of the PCT next year in 2018. Those first 700 miles that are completely in the desert all the way from Campo to Kennedy Meadows, I wanted to make sure I could create some shade and get out of the sun. Now I recently took it on a seven day section hike of the Continental Divide Trail from Lordsburg, New Mexico to the Gila Wilderness. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed having this thing. Um, there was a few occasions where the sun was just kind of beating down on me all day long and this really helped to get me out of the sun, cool me off a little bit to where I wasn't gonna get too dehydrated and too sunburned. So the Silver Shadow weighs in at eight ounces and is 25 inches in length. They made the handle out of foam, so it's nice and cushy on your hand. It does have this little Velcro strap here that does keep it all nice and tucked up. So whenever you're carrying it on the side of your pack, it's not gonna flip open, kind of like all umbrellas. And the actual shaft of the umbrella itself is made out of fiberglass. Um, the whole thing is made out of fiberglass, so there's actually no metal in it. And the reason they did that is so if you're up on a high ridge line and you're hiking, you're not a giant lightning rod. So it's totally lightning safe and will not conduct electricity, which is pretty sweet. On the inside, they made it black. And then on the outside, it has this really awesome reflective silvery coating it helps reflect the sun back out so it doesn't absorb into the umbrella and kind of become like an oven under it, which was a super smart design. Now there's a lot of these different solar umbrellas on the market, and from what I understand, they're all pretty much made by the same people. Um, this one just happens to be a six moon design, and whenever I bought my Skyscape Trekker to review that, I also picked this guy up because I knew that I need one. There's not really a whole lot I disliked about this umbrella, the only couple things I could probably say that the umbrella could kind of do without, um, number one would be this strap. They did put this strap on there that has this little, uh, you know, this little cinch, this little cinch knob. Um, didn't really find a use for it. I never wrapped it around my hand, never really needed it. Um, I'll probably end up cutting this off because I don't really think that it's there for a particular reason. Um, so that probably could have been left off when they designed it, kind of worthless to me. Because, you know, I do keep this in the side of my pack so it's nice and tucked away for whenever I do need it. So this just kind of gets in the way. And really the only annoying thing that I would say with it is whenever you do attach it to your pack, um, it does tend to move around a lot. And I, I found myself kind of wanting to push it out of my face more than it was actually helping me and giving me shade. I know there's some people out there that have found a way to successfully attach these to their pack. I just haven't really found that way yet, but I'm gonna keep trying. Um, because you know, after a while of kind of just holding it in this position, your arm does start to get numb and start going asleep. And then it's kind of weird using one trekking pole and then this. So it would be nice to be able to attach this to my pack and then be able to use both of my trekking poles, especially when I'm climbing something or descending, I can still have that shade, but still have full use of my trekking poles. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it and I would definitely suggest picking one up if you're gonna be doing some extended desert hiking because it is nice to be able to make that shade. And for only eight ounces, um, they're relatively cheap as well. They're only $44 over on amazon.com. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below if you guys wanna check those out. Um, or see some other people's reviews and kind of what they thought on the umbrella. If you haven't got a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures of some gear that we'll be reviewing in the future. Go ahead and like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, thanks for watching.